Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, today I'll be looking at Longo Match Analysis Software. Uh, since we brought you the last video, they've actually updated the program completely. Uh, it's up to version 1.4 now, which has brought out some new features. Uh, so we'll, go, we'll have a look and we'll go through what those new features are. Uh, they've also slightly changed the way they structure the software. So before it was just the open source, which was free, and then there was a professional uh, version of the software, which you had to pay for. Uh, now they've staggered it, so there's three different levels. So you can still get the basic, which is free, which is good for us. Uh, and then they've got a starter uh, level, and then there's a professional as well. And obviously the, each version has got slightly different features and more features and what you can do with it. Uh, but we can have a look at that uh, as we go through the program. So one of the first things you'll notice is a slightly different look to the software. The time jump function has changed slightly, so here we have a little icon, you can just click on that and then we can change the jump time. Just here, one second, 10 seconds, whatever we want that to be. And we'll just put that down to one, and click off it. And then that can be activated with the shift and the left and the right arrows as well. So you can skip forward and backwards during the um, footage. And then the playback speed has also been changed. So before we used to have a slide bar on this right hand side next to the video player but now we've just got the function underneath this sort of speed wheel so if we click on that and then here with the sliders there so we can slide that up and down uh, if we want to go faster or slower leave that on one and that can also be activated just using the up and the down arrows as well so if we go across to this left hand menu here where we've got all our coded or all our tagged events one of the new functions here is you'll see this little play icon. So if we open up the score, so this has just got the goals in here. And if we just click on this play button, and that will now play through all the clips that we've made in that category. You can see it's playing the first clip here, signified by this little um, green eyeball. And then once that's clip finished, that'll automatically now move on to the second clip. That's just a little bit more streamlined and easier than it was before. Here you can see that the greener icon for the eye has moved on to the second clip to show that it's now playing the second clip for us as well. And that will uh, work the same whether you've got one, two, three, you know, as many sort of clips as you've got in each category. What we can also do now is we can change the length of the clips actually whilst we're in the video player. So before if we decided that we've made a clip uh, but it was too long or too short, uh, we used to have to go into the timeline view by clicking on the sort of middle box down here and then we just have to drag the length of the clips forwards or backwards but now we can stay in the tagging view and if you come across next to where the playback speed is there's a little button here it's all called edit event duration so we can just click on that and then you'll see that the length of the clip is signified by the dark section in the middle so we can drag that to the left to make it a bit longer at the start and then the same clip or the same sort of button on the right hand side and make that longer or shorter as well. And if we just click back on that button and that's now changed the length of that clip as well for us. So there are new features in Longo Match version 1.4. Additionally, um, there are some slight limitations on the new software and that you can only save uh, a certain amount of projects and a certain amount of code windows and buttons as well. Uh, on the pro and the start versions I think they're unlimited but I'll link below um, a page on the Longo Match website so you can just have a look and see uh, the differences at different price points as well. So keep an eye on the channel because we've got a video coming up soon on how to use Longo Match uh, to tag events during a match. Uh, we'll be using subcategories and keyboard shortcuts as well. So don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video uh, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like the same as well.